Hey guys, it's me, Ole, and there are new leaks again about BlackBerry phones. So there have been some leaks and some rumors about BlackBerry phones that they're coming in 2018, but now we're getting to see some renders, especially one about the BlackBerry Athena. It was just known as a code name, but now we actually see pictures of it. Those leaks are from a page called Slash Leak, and they show a phone that looks pretty similar to the BlackBerry Key One, but you can clearly see some improvements over the previous phones. For example, you see that they moved all the buttons from the left side to the right side, just like on the BlackBerry Motion, and they also put the SIM and SD card slot on the left side. The 3.5mm headphone jack remains, which is very good because I use that very frequently. And there's also a very great addition that I've not seen on any BlackBerry phone yet, and that is a dual camera system on the backside. Only the big smartphone firms like the iPhone, the Huawei phones, or the OnePlus phones had that dual camera set up. Now the Key One or BlackBerry gets it, which is great because that means improved quality, photo quality over the Key One, which was already pretty good because it had the Google Pixel sensor in it. It also seems like the keys, which were glossy on the BlackBerry Key One, now become matte. I would like if they become matte because I just seem to type a bit faster on matte keys like on the BlackBerry Classic or the Q10 and it just feels more natural and as I said in my previous videos the thumbs feel sweaty when using the glossy uh, keys uh, so yeah that will be a very welcome addi addition. You can also see that the BlackBerry logo is now on the front which wasn't on the key one uh, you can see it on the spacebar which also acts as a fingerprint sensor just like on the BlackBerry Motion which has it on the fingerprint sensor Craig Perry said, the author of the Craig Perry article said, he doesn't like it. I actually don't mind it. I like the position of it and I wouldn't see any other uh, position where to put the BlackBerry logo because the bezels are pretty, pretty small. So I wouldn't have any problem with that. I like the color scheme of the BlackBerry Athena, which is black. Um, so it, it seems like they're moving away from that silver colors. For example, the BlackBerry Motion wasn't silver and the Key One got a black refresh. So maybe the new BlackBerry Key One successor will be an all black device, which I again wouldn't mind because I really like the overall design of it. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you think about the BlackBerry Athena or that Key One successor? You can also find the link to that article in the description box below if you're interested but there are more news about BlackBerry leaks and this one comes from Evan Blast. He did leak a lot of BlackBerry information in the past and this one is the most recent. He says that Optimus, which produces the phones for the Indian market like the upcoming BlackBerry Ghost, is producing some accessories, BlackBerry branded accessories for the Indian market. So he has a picture of it and it seems like, or it looks like the BlackBerry Secure shield so it seems like it will be a wireless charger which would be great because that could be a hint for blackberry finally going wireless with their charging docks because all of their phones at least in the Euro european market didn't have the wireless charging feature so i'm hoping that they finally get on this trend because a lot of cars are introducing it and every other phone manufacturer is going wireless so i would really really appreciate if that really would go wireless with their charging system. So you will also find the link to this leak in the description box below. And again, let me know in the comment section below on what you think about this accessory and do you really think it's a wireless charger or maybe something else? I'd, really, I'd be really interested in that again. So let me know in the comment section below about that. That was it with this video. If you liked it, make sure you press the like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with new videos and also make sure to follow me on my social media channels and you can see them right now. I'd be happy to see you in my next video. Until then, bye, see you.